All right, Arrow fans, now it's time to look at the second episode of Arrow Season 3, Sarah. The following morning, Oliver running from the city head to the foundry. Once they entered the basement, Oliver sees Sarah struck with the three arrows. Laurel had brought her there. Oliver was in shock whilst Laurel and Felicity broke down crying. Oliver closes Sarah's wide open eyes and holds Laurel to him as he repeats, I'm so sorry, over and over. Five years ago in Hong Kong, Oliver learns that he is to sniper kill someone. He aims the gun and when the person turns, he is amazed that it is his best friend, Tommy. In the present, Laurel is remembering, so Laurel is remembering about Sarah from when they were growing up. Oliver vows to find who killed Sarah. Laurel says that she'll help him, but Oliver doesn't want her involved due to, due to being upset. Laurel decides not to tell her father right away. Laurel then leaves the bar. Oliver tries calling Thea, but gets her voicemail. Felicity comes over and tells him that they didn't get anything on camera. Oliver heads to the roof and looks, uh, looks into who shot Sarah. He soon begins to imagine what happened when Dick shows up. Yes, if Oliver is okay and tries to be there for Oliver, who is upset with the knowledge of how the person killed Sarah. The city calls and tells them that Detective Lance called, so he heads off to meet the man. He then tells the Arrow about the shooter, about how the shooter is dropping, uh, is dropping bodies of businessmen. In the foundry, Roy is cataloging Sarah's effects as Felicity reminisces about Sarah. That's when her cell phone rang and it was her boss. She tells him that there was a death in the family. Oliver arrives and when they look into the shooter of the businessmen, Look into who, look into who is the shooter of the businessman. Oliver looks at his phone and gets upset when he hasn't heard from her. In Hong Kong five years ago, Oliver learns Tommy was there because of him, so he got into his email before he could contact anyone. Felicity learns that Roy is looking for Thea. He then shows Felicity the note she left behind. Felicity says that Oliver needs to see the note. Felicity has to quit consolidated to where Ray Palmer was. She didn't work for Ray or have anything to do with him. She then tells him that she quits. She tries to hit up, but Ray apologizes for what she's truly upset about. She then leaves. Oliver has to talk to the drug dealer who could have seen something. He had to threaten the man. Dick is looking at Argus's files like Oliver had asked and learned that the man shooting the businessman is Simon LaCroix. Or LaCroix. Oliver then went after him. Laurel is still in the foundry and asks to see what's happening, so Felicity pulls up a camera feed. Oliver shot of his spike and the man makes a quick escape. Laurel then gets upset. Felicity's looking into a connection. In Hong Kong, Oliver tries to come up with a better plan than killing his best friend. Tommy is then drugged. Oliver gets upset at Felicity and he apologizes. She whips her glass and breaks down because she, upset, because she is upset about Sarah. Laurel then heads to the hospital and makes her way to talk to the witness. She then threatens the man, wanting to know what the man knew. He then realizes that they were trying to build an oil pipeline. Some across the way shoots him dead through the glass. Oliver tries Thea again and gets her voicemail. He begs her to call him back. Roy looks on. Dick shows up and asks what Oliver needs. Roy then gives Oliver Thea's note. He admits that he had it from he admits that he had it from during the siege. Roy felt guilty, but Oliver just says, Okay. Laurel bumps into her father and, and instead of telling her father about Sarah, she remains quiet. She goes to the foundry and tells Felicity and the team about what she learned. Laurel grabs a gun and Oliver tries to get Laurel to stay behind. He promises not to let him escape this time. Ray has a speech in front of the businessmen inside of Queen Consolidated. Ray tells them about giving up his money to fix Star City. That's when Simon breaks in and goes after his target. Ray intercedes as the arrows fight Simon. Ray watches as Roy and the arrow fight the man and then go after him. The arrow and Simon shoot each other face to face. Laurel then shows up before Oliver could find out who hired the man. Laurel believes that the man had killed Sarah, but the man denied it. Laurel tries to pull the trigger, but there were no bullets. They then rush out. The next morning, Oliver tells her that her father deserves to know that Sarah is dead, as he doesn't know how long it will take to find who killed Sarah. Laurel has to see her father. She tries to speak, and then she says that she lied to him. However, his alarm went off for his pills. She notices the frame photo of her and Sarah. She doesn't tell him about Sarah. That evening, they decide to bury Sarah where her headstone was. Lizzie starts throwing some of the dirt back on the coffin, claiming that despite it being a Jewish custom, it felt right. Oliver follows. Laura declares it isn't right and that it was perverse to try to and it was perverse to bury her there. Oliver ho holds Laurel. Dignan tells him that his daughter is named Sarah. In Hong Kong five years ago, Tommy wakes up and begs for his life. 
All for someone who is behind him and talks about ransom. Every man shows up, claiming to, claiming to be police, and sets him free. In the foundry later, Dick tells him that he's back on the team and how Sarah and him were like family. Oliver then says he needs to go get Thea. Oliver says he doesn't want to die down there. Laurel holds Sarah's plushie and then looks at the leather canary jacket. Dick looks on his baby Sarah. Rice alone, looking old photo of him with photo of him with the. Ray's alone, looking old photo of him with Thea. Ray is a quick and when Felicity shows up. She tells him she changed her mind as she wanted more out of life. According to Maltese, Malcolm plots Thea as she works out against two opponents. Thanks, Dad, she says in response to his well done. Mm. So now let's take a look at some trivia surrounding this episode. Felicity's comparison of Sarah to an, Amazoni to an Amazonian warrior is a reference to Wonder Woman. Korak is mentioned several times in the episode. Described by Felicity as the largest untapped oil field on the planet. Her Amritech was planning on striking a deal to build an oil pipeline. In the DC Comics, Korak is a small, a small Middle Eastern country in the Persian Gulf, which is between Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. This episode has the shortest title in Arrow, with only four letters. This is the first episode in the Arrowverse to be named after a character in a civilian sense and to only contain the character's name. Alfred not only foreshadowed his death on Crisis and of Nerves Part 1 when he told Diggle, I don't want to die down here. In that episode, Alfred died in a bunker similar to the one where Sarah's body was taken. The early view of Corto Maltese in the end is actually a view of the Rock of Monaco. The gray stone above the sea is Monaco's Oceanographic Museum. And now, finally, let's take a look at a goof. When Diggle's looking through the Argus database, Komodo's name is misspelled as Komodo. As Modem. Hmm. Interesting error. So I think this episode is kind of a bit emotional because it happens to Sarah, but hey, as we all know, she is eventually going to come back to life somehow and then ultimately go on to be on Legends of Tomorrow and all that other stuff. So yeah. <laughs> so overall, I give the episode Sarah four arrowheads out of five. Well, I am tuned in a bit as we take a look at the final episode of the day, Corto Maltese. So until then... In the words of Oliver Queen, you have failed this city.